And when you said that he had accidentally cut his wrist again, you lied. Yes. And now today you've told us a new story entirely. The question is, Frau Helm, were you lying then? Are you lying now? Or are you not, in fact, a chronic and habitual liar? Two years ago, I started my own family history research. And as a consequence, I fell over into Mormon history and realizing that everything I had been taught by Mormon scholars was a complete and total fiction. I then, like Descartes, started saying, well, did a real Joseph Smith even exist? And the first question I came to to resolve this was, well, there's other references, neutral historic references to Joseph Smith, not just the Brighamite Mormon Church references. So there was a historical Joseph Smith. But is anything written as documented by the purported Mormon scholars, starting with Von Brody, is any of that based in reality on actual, reliable, admissible courtroom documents? It is my humble opinion at this point, very little of the Mormon scholarship is authentic, and that I basically have come to the conclusion that all their footnotes, or an abundance of their footnotes, are completely fake. They're fraudulent, fake footnotes. They will make a reference footnote in support of a proposition such as Joseph Smith having 30 to 40 wives and the footnote states the opposite or does not state or support the proposition. So I'm just going to begin this and I'm going to go through each one of the purported quote unquote polygamous wives. We're going to do a deep dive on the footnotes of Mormon scholars. And I think you're going to be surprised at what we find. Let's start with the 14-year-old Helen Marr Kimball, which all Mormon scholars state emphatically that she claimed to be Joseph Smith's plural wife and that she was sealed to Joseph Smith. One night after her father had explained to her that Joseph Smith wanted to marry her, she met with Joseph Smith 24 hours later and was sealed to him. Well, would you be surprised that there's not one reference in Helen Mark Kimball's autobiography or in her book that she wrote stating that she ever married or was sealed to Joseph Smith. Did you hear that? Let me repeat. The footnoted autobiography and book that Helen Mark Kimball wrote. There is not one reference to Helen Mark Kimball claiming she was ever married or sealed to Joseph Smith. So let's continue and go into a deeper dive of the bogus references. Helen Marr Kimball, born August 28th to, and died in November of 1896, was one of at least 30 to 40 plural wives of Joseph Smith, founder of the Latter-day Saint movement. She was sealed in marriage to him, Joseph Smith, when she was 14 years old. After his death, when she was 16, she married Hor Horace Whitley. Let's go down here. Marriage to Joseph Smith. This is out of Wikipedia. Marriage to Joseph Smith. According to Kimball, her father wanted to improve his standing by making a link between his family and the family of Joseph Smith. That comes out of Anderson Pauling, 1998. In the late 20th century, Todd Compton described the reason for the marriage as follows. The prophet's marriage to her seemed to have been largely dynastic, a union arranged by Joseph Smith and Heber to seal the Kimball family to a seer church president and presiding patriarchal figure of the dispensation of the fullness of times, Compton, 1997. In the spring of 1843, when Helen was 14 years old, her father describes the doctrine of plural marriage to her. So far, so good. He asked her if she would consent to be sealed to Joseph Smith, Compton, 1997, and Helen described her reaction to this proposition. My father was first to introduce me to it, which was a similar effect to a sudden shock of a small earthquake when he found, after the first outburst of displeasure for supposed injury, that I received it meekly and took the first opportunity to introduce Sarah Ann Whitney to me as Joseph's wife. Whoa, Nellie, according to reading the autobiography and diary of 
Helen Mar Kimball. She never said that her father asked her to marry Joseph Smith. I mean, Compton, if he said this in his book, I don't know yet, I've only read the autobiography of Helen Mar Kimball and what she said, but if Compton did say this, he is absolutely fraudulent and telling you a bogus history. Smith gave Helen 24 hours to respond to his request. The girl consented only after Smith explained it to her that it would ensure her eternal salvation along with that of her family. Helen was sealed to Smith in May of 1843 when she was 14 and he was 37. The marriage was kept secret and Helen continued to live with her parents. Whoa, Nellie. Helen Mark Kimball never said she was sealed to Joseph Smith, never said she had to keep it secret. What she did say is she kept her father's polygamy secret. Uh, and that's all that Helen Mark Kimball ever said. So where these men, and I'm going to emphasize men with fetishes, where these men come up with this bogus information, I have no idea at this point in time. So please, all of you out there, Please send me references because I have searched Helen Mark Kimball's diaries, autobiographies, and there is not one reference that she personally made. She never claimed to be ever married to Joseph Smith. This entire history by these men that somehow Helen Mark Kimball was a 14-year-old married to Joseph Smith is, as far as I can see right now, completely bogus. That's uh, Anderson and Fallring. Initially, Helen Marr despised the concept of polygamy, stated that seeing the trials of her mother left to re Bell, I hated polygamy with my heart. Later in her life, however, she became a vigorous defender of it. Now, you could say that Helen Marr Kimball did say some of these quotes, but she never said them in context of Joseph Smith asking her to be married to him or sealed to him. She just quoted them as her feelings toward the whole concept of plural marriage. And Compton and Brian Hills have completely misquoted, misused all our poor little Helen Mar Kimball in their promotion of somehow pedophilia. And I'm going to say it right now. These men are promoting pedophilia by contending that Joseph Smith asked Helen Mar Kimball to marry him when Helen Mar Kimball herself never said it, never implied it, never contended that this occurred. But Brian Hales, Todd Compton, D. Michael Quinn, whoever, the sexual deviants, I don't know what you might call these people, but they're promoting an absolute falsehood. Oh, excuse me if I am being emphatic, but please, please, just somebody pull out the autobiography of Helen Mar Kimball and show me where she ever said any of the things that Todd Compton and Mr. Brian Hills accuses Joseph Smith of saying he never did and Brian Hills and Todd Compton are suspect of being themselves having a few fetishes of their own in their brains who knows So again, I've read through the entire entry by Brian Hales and his wife concerning Helen R. Kimball claiming that she was a polygamous wife of Joseph Smith. And their only references are to her autobiography in which she clearly states that her only contact with Joseph Smith concerning being a up concerning the principle of plural wife, free, or polygamy, was that he came and explained it to her 24 hours after 
her father told her of the concept and principle of spiritual wifery. Helen Mar Kimball, in her autobiography, never states that she was married or sealed to Joseph Smith. So, Brian Hales tries to obfuscate the entire concept by saying, well, she obviously was sealed to him, but she just didn't have sexual relations to him. Otherwise, she would have been called as a polygamous wife to testify at the Temple Lot case. And he goes through and talks about the Temple Lot case, which has nothing to do with whether or not Helen Mark Kimball was a polygamous wife or was sealed to Joseph Smith. So through all this entire article, the only reference he had to sealing, which caught my eye, was at the very end. Okay, 13 months after her sealing to the prophet. Just a reminder, there's no mention of her ever being sealed or married to the prophet, but he just throws this out. 13 months after her sealing, when did she ever say that? He, the prophet was killed. And then she writes later, I am thankful that I am thankful that he, the Heavenly Father, has brought me through this furnace of affliction. And that he condescended to show me that the promises made me, and he has condescended to show me the promises he made that morning that I was sealed to the prophet of God, will not fail, and I would not have uh, the chain broken for I have the view of the principle of the eternal salvation, etc., etc. Now, Brian Hales is using this quote as if Helen Mar Kimball stated that she had been sealed to the prophet of God. Again, it doesn't say prophet Joseph Smith, could have been any other prophet, but we don't know, and that the Heavenly Father. I'm, I'm not going to belabor this, but let's look at Brian Hale's footnote. Do you think he used Helen Mark Kimball's actual autobiography? No. He uses, he references the autobiography, Helen Mark Whitney's autobiography, March 1883. Again, I've word searched it all through that autobiography. There is no mention of um, Helen Mark Kimball stating she was ever sealed to Joseph Smith. Again, Joseph Smith if it were, if it was Joseph Smith, she mentions the prophet explained the concept to her. That was all. So Brian Hale says, well, let's use the autobiography as the fact that Helen Mark Kimball said she was sealed, but the, he doesn't actually reference the actual autobiography. He references another holograph, a reproduction of the transcript by who? Another biographer, Bromberg. Holo Sapriel, Richard Herzl. I mean, I'm not going to buy this book, all right, to get the transcript. I can get the transcript directly. And Helen Mar Kimball never says she was sealed, despite the fact that this Jenny Broberg might have referenced it in her vague little book and called it a transcript. So, and the book is called The Woman's View the woman's view on Helen Mar Whitney. I'll look for it, but let me tell you, we've already seen the autobiography. We don't need a secondary source to lie also and misquote Helen Mar Kimball. Just as this entire article and entry by Brian Hills. Okay, I'm going to write him personally and ask him to clarify the fact that the transcript... Do, no, I'm going to ask him to show me in Helen Moore's actual autobiography where she said she was sealed. And if he comes back with something, I'll report to you later. I might be very surprised. But So I'm not going to jump to conclusions right now. I'm just going to say that the footnotes at first glance do not support the fact that Helen Moore Campbell ever said she was married to Joseph Smith or was even sealed to Joseph Smith. Now later on, Heber C. Campbell 
Later on, Heber C. Kimball's family may have been sealed. I don't know. That might come later from some document. I'm going to look in Fawn Brody's book to see what she says about Helen Mark Kimball, because I think she's much more reliable than these more recent biographers like, like Brian Hales.